In the UK alone, there are thousands of surgeries to repair broken ankles and feet. Today, we've traveled to Ortho Solutions to find out just how they knit them back together. Kevin, we're here at Ortho Solutions. Who are you and what do Ortho Solutions do? Uh, basic, my, na my name is Kevin Stamp. Uh, I've worked for Ortho Solutions since uh, 2007. Uh, Ortho Solutions is a company that uh, develops uh, both implants and instruments for the uh, foot and ankle. So that's the lower part of the body. We've got some bits on here today. Can we have a discussion about what this actually is? Yeah, well, basically this yep. is our ankle fusion nail. Uh, this is this particular part of the nail is the implant. Uh, this is the outrigger. Uh, this is designed for fusing both the uh, sorry both the calcaneum, talus, and tibia together. Uh, basically, what happens is this is pushed up the joints. Uh, we lock off proximally, and then we compress all three joints together and then we lock off distally. That's amazing um, to find out how it actually works. So what's the difference between these two here? This is our first, gener this is our first generation solution. Uh, we have uh, this, this first generation uh, solution uses external compression using this nut here to compress the three joints. So that means that the bone is then pushed together, fused, so what, what does that difference make? Uh, fu fusing of the joint, uh, fusing of the three joints will reduce the pain uh, of the joints. You've also developed another solution called Volition. What is, does that entail? Uh, Volition is, again, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ankle fracture system that uh, uh, works around the distal tibia and also the fibula. Uh, basically, the, 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 the solution has been designed uh, around specific ankle fracture patterns. Uh, we've been working, uh, or s s the, some surgeons have, have, have highlighted what the fracture pattern would be like, uh, uh, basically on the fibula and also the tibia. And we've got this Meccano looking like set here, Kevin. What are these used for? Uh, well, basically, they're used for various uh, types of uh, procedure within the foot. Uh, it could be uh, fractured, uh, fractured joints within the foot, or it could be for realignment of, uh, of specific joints. How are these parts being made at the minute? Uh, well, basically, they're milled. Uh, so, basically, the, most plates are made from uh, titanium alloy. Uh, and these plates are uh, milled from uh, billet material mm -hmm. uh, and they'll be done on um, particular machines uh, like a four or five axis uh, milling machine. You've got a fourth axis integrated on there as well, That's haven't correct. you? Um, you design in-house and this is a brand new facility for you. Uh, how did it start up? Well, basically we, we've, uh, we wanted to improve our time to market uh, and when we're developing product it's easy for us to develop it firstly by creating uh, the model the 3d model then what we do is create probably a, a plastic prototype on our free on our prototyping machine and then we'll put it into the hands of the surgeon if the surgeon likes what he sees he, he may uh, refine it uh, and then we'll, we'll go and make a, a, a steel prototype and it's this where we want to get our lead time down yeah hence this is why we've developed this facility for that particular reason so before you had these machines what was going on what were your lead times like well we we could uh, we could outsource either an instrument or an implant and it could it could take 
up to 16 weeks to, to actually have a, 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 a prototype made for us. But the, the problem is, if we needed to tweak it or fine tune it from there, it could be another 16 weeks. Hence, 32 weeks is taken from the lead time. So you've uh, missed market. that market, really, haven't you, for that Correct. period of time. Correct. And if the surgeon does come back and say, oh, can you just tweak this a little bit? Exactly. It's going to then take a longer period of time to come back. But now that you've got these machines, you've got a mill and you've got a turn. Yes. Has it opened doors for you and those lead times have come down? Yeah, particularly on instrumentation at this moment in time. We're developing another system called Cognition, which is a staple, it is a nitinal staple implant. And basically we're now creating prototypes for the instrumentation that works with that staple. And we can, we can make fine, we can fine tune and develop it accordingly in, in a fraction of the time that we could if we was using an outsource subcontractor. How long have these machines been in here? It's relatively new. We, we've only, this place has been open now for only uh, two months. Okay. Uh, and already we, we've started to, you know, make our own instrumentation. Uh, for instance, uh, as you can see here, this is, this is a, a, a reamer that we needed to make for cadaveric uh, testing. Uh, that is just the aluminium billets, but this is the, the finished Final article. Final product. So this... So how long is it making, how long is it taking you to make this? So, oh, so, yeah. so basically, we, if we would have sent that out for a subcontractor, yeah. we could have been looking at 16 weeks. Uh, we actually did it in four days. So from, from machining to finishing, uh, four days. That's huge. Yeah. That is absolutely huge.